करो ओ या 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 नो या ता खाए चुशो ओ या ता की as we come in to center toro o ya da kai shusho o ya adjusting at the base of the ribs untwisting toro kokoya unwinding through the diaphragm da o choya these ancestral lineage tones da oya through the left side of the diaphragm do o cho ho ya chu shi interesting as these appear very much only as an energy here cho o we start to bring source light to these what i would call in tuned or in wound do ro ko ko sha they have a very strong cocoon feeling to them webbed woven webbing that a okokoya shusho oya taka encasement just feeling the nausea as we start to really tap into this here jeno o dai e cho ho the depths of your tarokoya shusho takaya trauma the source of your trauma base that a Wow. it's beyond nausea it's into the tissues the sensation of needing to ta 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 yo cho sho ya ta eject this from your system ta ro ko ya sho sho i cho ya refuse this from your system remove this from your system ta ro ko ya sho sho ya to renounce this energy that a ocho sho ono koya to to kosha e it's interesting because there's a feeling that we need to come up under and beneath it and push it up raise it up through the system that o kosha e in order to it's complex because there's a feeling of coming beneath it or under it in order to bring it to the surface but it's a very specific perspective it's not ejecting it out of fear or pushing it out or pulling it out or seeing it as something separate or bad that needs to go it is fully embracing it understanding it owning it knowing it and also saying it is time for me to remove this from my system so it's really this all encompassing understanding that o koko sha which harkens a bit back to this sort of cocoon feeling here chara o which is very interesting because it's as if we are looking at the distorted experience of this feeling cocooned feeling wrapped up feeling trapped can't get out of this yet in some ways it feels binding and in that sense safe so taking that concept right of being wrapped in this bound in something and using that concept in order to also release this which is to say i understand what this has provided for me up until this point and why it has been challenging to release myself from this and also i cannot release myself from this through a harsh or negative perspective which is that this is bad this is something that needs to be squashed or eradicated this is something that is wrong it simply is and also we recognize now it served a purpose at some point it worked against where we were trying to go it became a hindrance and now we fully embrace all of that to lift this up and out and it is our choice and our decision and our understanding of the full capacity of this that allows us to fully cleanse this from our being 
We accept it. We own it. We are deciding that it is time for this to go. So by embracing it and owning it, we have full ownership of it. We take back whatever parts or pieces we were or where we were afraid of it, right? So that in some sense, the fear in some ways allows us to continue to disown this so that it feels separate from us. But if it is separate from us, then it also disallows us from fully being able to embrace it in order to fully get out all of those roots of it to remove it from our system. So let's come into this confusion now in between the temples of the mind, in the ears, through the vestibular system. So bringing all of the internal systems into awareness here. So just bringing the light to awaken within you, the understanding and the awareness that you speak to the consciousnesses within all of your systems, that you have reign and domain over all of your body, its internal systems, it's external systems and the systems that it interconnects with. So this is really defining boundaries and ownership of the self. So reclaiming the self here, redefining the self the boundaries of the self, how the self also lends and participates in other systems. But then also exercising this autonomy in a sense that if it is now time to remove the self from a system, to properly separate, so releasing what also may have been borrowed, or connected to, Okay, very interesting. We see some really clingy, um, sticky energies here. And yet in order to properly separate off of those, again, this sense of ownership of the self, ownership of where the self has then participated in uh, sort of this enmeshment, Maybe taking too much, maybe feeling too much like a victim, maybe little okosha and not properly understanding energy exchange, energy consumption. So this is really setting right energetic interaction. The seven principles here. The seven seals. And where this has been manipulated layers have been added to apply these seals to the field to make it confusing, disturbing, distorted, manipulating the sense of self. But this also applies not just to these external energetic systems we connect to and the connection in between us and those systems, but within our own body, the inability to fully feel our body, the inability to fully have autonomy within our body, to work our inner body systems, to our highest capacity here. And this is all coming through this womb, cocoon, diaphragmatic seal. So this false heart cross, again, we saw a bit of this sort of like dagger seal the other day. It was very dark, um, but now we can see where that was also covering over or covering up or sealing up the natural light flow that comes at the base of the heart or that comes through the base of the heart which 
protects the self. It's not so much protection, but again, clearly defines, right? It's a sense of empowerment here. But how can you feel empowered if you don't even know where you start or where you stop or where someone else starts and stops? How do you even know what you're claiming? Or what you're even defining? So this it's a temporal navigation system it's not about navigating but it's about sensing the extents of you and the extensions of you which ultimately is about presence and presence is not okay I meditate and I feel present or I'm very present right now in this moment with this person sitting in front of me speaking to presence is about I feel what I'm feeling and I stay with it I see what I'm seeing and I stay aware that I am observing this I am aware and I still have a sense of myself that i through the front of the mind this witnessing this observing while also knowing i am a participant within this an observer of it and also and this is the piece that seems to have been sort of blocked or missing I also have domain here to participate witness and observe and decide which is ultimately this energetic interaction where we sense and feel something is right or something is off it's appropriate or not appropriate well appropriate or not appropriate is almost a judgment but it's it's an inner sensation that this feels attuned or aligned it's uh so it has something to do with the electromagnetic field that you sense it it's like or when all of these things are spinning in alignment there is no pull on the field it feels neutral when there is a bit of a, a shift, something is off axis, we get this wobble effect in the field, but also in the cells themselves. So the cellular membranes, which have been... It's almost like things have been added or taken away, so it's sort of this ionic tone that has been manipulated, the ionosphere okay so within the earth but also within the human field it's okay coming back to the diaphragm this process of selection here so realigning through the field your access point and and we find that this then starts to terminate within the body itself right the physical imbalances that we start to experience so okay coming in through the core to the central nervous system this golden Rod So just coming in through the left side of the field and releasing out any past alignments that were placed in, but ultimately at this point are misalignments in the field. The rod and staff. Jarakai Taraki Jarohoya Dakai Jesha. Okay, feeling where this is deeply within the left side of the heart. Again, addressing this sense of betrayal, being betrayed. But also where we could not properly 
act or move within our field, which may have also caused something outside of us to feel betrayed by us. So where the flow and the spins and, and the interaction of that flow and spin between two or more fields, became bogged down, and enmeshed. Good. So releasing any distorted interconnections, and interconnections, Good. So continuing to bring source light here. It's coming through the top of the left shoulder, in through the core, through both the front and back of the field here. And releasing these power tones, whatever. It feels like things where you gained a sense of empowerment through someone else telling you things. So, so gaining a sense of empowerment through an external source or vibration. Even if it came through someone or something else that was, let's say, source connected or source inspired, it's as if there's still other hooks or hiccups happening where it sort of corrupted that energy. So that you were taking in almost a dysfunctional or distorted sense of self because you weren't able to receive it through pure source through pure knowing through pure connection so clearing this container here clearing your receptivity Dara o cha sha e cha kaya cha sha e cha kaya. Where you misaligned to the self. Jara o kaya sha e cha kaya. So learning to vision for yourself through yourself. Da o otok o otok o cha otoka cha 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 sha. Again, clearing through the left side of the field here. This temporal framework releasing these dark curves these dark arches this particular one seems to have been twisted i almost want to say interdimensionally because it's if you look at it from the front it looks like it's all in one plane if you start to rotate and look at it from the side you can see that it moves in many different planes so from one perspective it starts to look a bit like a wishbone from another it starts to look a bit like a almost like a chair shape so it has a a vertical and a horizontal component and then adding on this sort of wishbone curve into the ovary into these creational ranges of the internal systems. Good. So there's a good clearing through this vestibular tone, this range through the left side. Deep clarity here. Overall, this feels like being unable to sense yourself, to sense your inner world. And even if you could sense it it was still as if there was a bit of a barrier there sometimes on but sometimes off fleeting can't quite connect a sensation of something but i can't quite remember let's bring in these tones of adjustment 
There's a variety of colors here, Joel Koya streaming through the field to clear, to support your channel. The Hoya, the Hoya, the Hoya. And emptying and opening through the heart. Jara o na kai chasha oya Jara ki jara kai chasha Applying the light here within the diaphragm to continue to release these quadrant specters. Dara kosha i jara koi chasha i The lockdown through the fields. And it actually feels like most profoundly this affected the inner generational transference of wisdom. So we could call it keys, codes, whatever it might be, whatever is passed through the lineage that is beneficial, uh, access to that was restricted. It's as if you can access it in each generation, but you can't cross access or like cross pollinate you can't access it between one generation and another so even not even talking about like let's say your family in this lifetime the different generations that exist it's also looking like there's an image almost of different lifetimes that you have that you cannot access what you created or what you had access to in another lifetime. It's as if each of those experiences get bound up separately. They're in separate containers. And you're consciousness may be able to access it but you can't actually physically work with it so these time slots or this containment within time the containment that was able to be implemented through time so it's not necessarily manipulating time itself, but it's using time to manipulate. Okay, so there's a big release through the spinal system, through the skeletal system, through the spinal cord, through the nerves. Seeing these golden tones now here, lower back on the right side, into the back of the pelvis as well. Okay, so there's a massive influx of energy here that's occurring. It feels, it's like a master tone because I almost want to say it's this, it's not masculine or feminine almost like an androgynous energy but that's not actually accurate because it's Let's see what this is here so the one tone recognizing that you are both parts that you contain both parts We'll just use this as an example because it's just a way to sort of make sense of it in this moment. The kosha i, the masculine and the feminine energy, chokosha i chokoya. It's as if you have to recognize both parts in order to recognize the one. Chara kosha i chokoya chasha i chasha ki. 
honoring all components here, jada otakai chusha uya takai within the self, in order to recognize the union of the one, jada otakai chusha, jau ono, this trinity tone, the I chusha uya, this omnipresent jada kokosha i. Let's clear any energies interacting here, which were placed. And releasing the secular ranges. The secular division, the secular constraint. So this meaning, this sort of time defense or using time to quarantine or compartmentalize chara otaka chashno oya takai chara koya taki shi 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 okay coming into the base of the ribs here da oya chasha e bringing source light here this seclusion chara otaka sha e chakoya takai chasha e Absorbing Toro Otakasha e dissolving all into one Jara Okoya Takash. Reclaiming your entry points, reclaiming your awareness of self at each of these points. Dissolving Tara Okosha e to be and know the self. Ta o o ko sha e As all. As one being. Throughout the kasha e chakoya. All of time. Holding present here. Feeling that pressure in the left side of the heart. Wherever others want to disturb your complete sense of self, your fullness, your all knowing, this is not thinking you are better as if you are God or Source itself. This is having awareness of your entire being your entire self at all times being very aware of the boundaries of your field through the human experience and disallowing entrapment through Another's attack or rendition, the of who you are. So releasing this, it's not a mirror effect, it is some sort of dark reflective. It's an insertion in through the field, like a dark mirror. But really, what it, it's almost like I see this sort of dark field putting a hand mirror inside your field and holding it up to themselves. So, yes, they're seeing through you, but really what the reflection they are seeing is a reflection of their dark self. And by dark self, we mean simply the things that are unconscious beneath the surface. 
not wanting to be seen, Chorokoyash, and not wanting to face, or not feeling they have the capacity to change, or simply just a complete unawareness of all of that. So, Chorokoyash, but it's very clear that they have taken this mirror, placed it inside, and that's what they are seeing you through, Chorokoko, or interacting with you through. And it starts to look like a hook in the field. And this is within the left rib. So let's bring your awareness here. Bring your source light here. And what would you be giving up? If you were to release this. What we see start to dissolve is this fear. This fear of having to observe someone observing their own, let's say, faults or weaknesses. But it's not that they're faults or weaknesses, right? But that's how the other individual is perceiving them. That is creating shame and guilt and then therefore that inability to face these things, right? So and yet that seems to be part of the process it has to be identified as a fault or weakness because it's already there as such because there is shame and guilt there these aren't actually faults and weaknesses they are again simply places where we are not clearly seeing we are not fearlessly looking at so they become a fault and a weakness. Well, that's actually inaccurate. The shame and the guilt is what causes this negative association with things that are unseen or misunderstood or simply not understood at all. As in not having an awareness of something. So, were you to lovingly return this dark mirror, this shadow mirror, out of your field, it really comes through as then you will have to face, then you will have to see someone else's suffering, someone else's pain. And has that been almost intolerable? To some degree. Or because we have been so enmeshed in other energy fields, have we perceived it as our own pain and suffering? Yeah. Backside of the heart. Lots of shadow energies here. Releasing off the back of the left hip. It's almost an energy here that was trying to understand itself or was trying to find itself, but at some point it almost forgot. This is what it came in to do. It got entrapped here in the field. So really it's up to us to continuously sort of scan or be aware of what we're truly feeling and say, this doesn't feel right. What is this? And to sit lovingly with it. Okay, good. Relieving. But relieving the nexus of this from the field through the belly button. Through the umbilical cord. Through this generational trauma. And where we feel this in the root and in the base of the brain, through the brain stem, through the nervous system. And the extension of the nervous system into the energetic field. Good. So clearing your energetic root, 
your energetic womb, your energetic umbilical cord, clearing this through the body systems, these internal systems, the family lineage, Interesting, if we look at the origins of the word family, it actually means servant. Clearing this misrepresentation. This misapprehension. Of the internal family systems. Beautiful clearing here. Release and relief. Resting in your return, Chao, as it is so.